Going live. All right, bet. All right, what's happening, y'all? Just wanted to, you know, just pull up a live stream real quick to get, you know, the feeling in the room. I mean, of course, we all knew this was coming. We all knew Dwayne Haskins was going to be the starter. We already knew this. Ron Rivera already said like a week ago that he already knew who the starter was going to be. He didn't want to just announce it yet. Now, today, he officially announces that quarterback Dwayne Haskins, Ohio State, you know what I'm saying? Ohio State in the building. The Ohio State University, Dwayne Haskins, is now the starting quarterback for the Burgundy and Gold moving forward. Or for what, you know, other teams like to call this Washington football team. What's good, sports fan all day? What's good, Rich? What's good, what's good, what's good? Yeah, I just wanted to do a live stream. You know, first of all, congratulations to my boy Dwayne Haskins. You know what I'm saying? First of all, big congrats to him. Big congrats to him. Big congrats. He earned that starting spot, too. They, they said repeatedly the past few months they were not just going to hand that over. They were not about to just hand anybody a starting spot. And even though Alex Smith, you know what I'm saying, it was a miracle for him to even get to where he was, where he is now. I mean, he should win comeback player of the year just off of the fact that he can walk, let alone throw a football and on the run like he did one time in training camp. But um, it, he was never really close to um, taking over the starting spot. And then you have Kyle Allen, where we knew, I mean, even though he knew the offense better, that kept being used as an excuse Dwayne Haskins quickly picked up the offense, and then Kyle Allen had no chance. So Dwayne Haskins is our starter moving forward. You know what I'm saying? That's easy money. We already knew that was going to happen. Um, and in spirit of Dwayne Haskins becoming a starter, you know what I'm saying? We got to throw on the film. Got to throw on, you know what I'm saying? It's the old film. This is still chubby. This is still chubby face Dwayne Haskins. Not as mobile, not as accurate, not as consistent. Um, you know what I'm saying? Not... Not an offense built around him as well, Dwayne Haskins. But, you know what I'm saying? Just some highlights for us to look at while we're talking. What's good, 3BBZ? What's good? What's good? I didn't hear him say this. What's good? What's good, Coach Don? What's good, Trill? What's good? Rico, you the way, man. Appreciate that, man. I try, man. You know what I'm saying? I try. You know, I've always said fire Coach Gruden. Yeah, man. He had to go. He had to go. He had to go. What's good, Beast Mode? What's good, Gab? with the Gab? Yeah, what's good, Rufio? Rufio? What's happening? Yeah, that boy, hey, man, that boy Dwayne Haskins earned it, man. Shout out to my boy Dwayne Haskins for going crazy in training camp. You know what I'm saying? He earned that spot. Ron Rivera said when training camp first started, I mean, obviously it looks like it's Dwayne Haskins' job to lose, but he has to earn it. They're not just handing him that spot. He did the same thing with Cam Newton when Cam Newton was first drafted. And technically, to me, this is Dwayne Haskins' rookie season because last year he was set up for failure. And if anything, that would have set him back further than if he would have just be drafted fresh out of college this year. If anything, because a lot of quarterbacks dealing with what Dwayne Haskins had to deal with last year would have had their confidence shot, would have been a little timid, you know, and everything. So really, if anything, this is his rookie season. And so there's a lot of parallels to how Ron Rivera treated Cam Newton when he first drafted him. Um, you could tell that he was going to win the starting job. It looked easy. But Ron Rivera made sure that it was a QB competition. Cam Newton had to earn that spot. Did the same thing with Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins stepped up big. Um, and just even beyond the X's and O's, learning the playbook, his arm being stronger than Alex Smith and Kyle Allen's and all of that, he's a far better fit for what Scott Turner wants to do with the offense. Even beyond all of that, I love the fact that his work ethic and his leadership has improved mightily. I mean, you can tell with the Jay Gruden era and everything and that coaching staff, they didn't really care about him. They didn't put their all into him. He was practicing with the with the guys that were going to be on the practice squad. So he could already tell. Anybody can obviously tell that they didn't care about him they didn't want to nurture him and develop him so of course his you know he wasn't 110 percent into this you know what i'm saying he wasn't just all the way in mentally work ethic wise but now that um he's had a fair shot and this offseason he's looked great i mean he dropped like what like uh, almost 20 pounds in weight gained muscle so he's more durable and more mobile at the same time, which could be really interesting in Scott Turner's offense. His arm is only stronger. He picked up the playbook, but my favorite thing about it is that his leadership skills have stepped up even. I mean, he was already, he came in a natural leader from what he already was doing at Ohio State. Even only starting there for a year, he looked like a natural leader, and everybody spoke highly of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, this play right here, too. Hold on. What, what play is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which play is this? Which play is this? Yes, sir. As a touchdown, as a touchdown, hell hinges. That's our starting fullback right there. 
Uh, and that's our starting quarterback throwing the ball, you Pete. Um, but my favorite thing is that he's not, he said in an interview, he's not afraid to be the bad guy. That's huge for me. Because to be a leader, you can't be a people pleaser. You can't please everybody. And sometimes you have to be what people need to hear, not necessarily what they want to hear. And so there's been a lot of times in practice where guys are tired, they're sluggish, they're not moving at the pace that Ron Rivera, Scott Turner want. And Dwayne Haskins, without Ron Rivera, Scott Turner ha even having to tell him, has been getting into people's ear and like, hurry up, hurry up, we got to keep moving, we got to go, we got to go. And, and because of it, they've had more explosive plays in practice also. Because while the defense is starting to slow down, the offense is still going behind Dwayne Haskins' leadership and him keeping the energy in the room and all of that type of stuff, keeping people going and going, they've been able to capitalize on some moments where the, you know, where everybody is, you know, naturally fatigued all together, but Dwayne Haskins is motivating the offense to keep going. So Again, I love the fact that he's not afraid to be the bad guy. He's not necessarily here to tell people what they want to hear. He's here to tell them what they need to hear. So big ups to uh my boy Dwayne Haskins for out there earning that job and and doing it doing everything well, clicking on all cylinders. The X's and O's, the arm strength, fitting Scott Turner's air quote your offense. Again, y'all can check out my hour and 13 long mini video where I break down Scott Turner's offense and how everybody on the team can, will fit in it. Um but even beyond that, the leadership and the work ethic is there. Y'all saw him all summer. Even, even if he didn't lose all the weight and look completely different physique-wise, just off of how much work he's putting on in the offseason where he was working out with A.B., Jerry Judy, Chad Ochocinco, Terrell Owens, um, I believe it was Devontae Adams. J.K. Dobbins makes sense because that's his Ohio State brother. But now he plays for the Ravens. I mean, it, it seemed like if, if a receiver needed a quarterback to practice with, during this whole coronavirus uh, pandemic, they would seek out Dwayne Haskins. I mean, if you're, if you if you can't reach Pat Mahomes, the, the next strongest arm in the NFL is probably Dwayne Haskins. John Allen, Jonathan Allen is also up there too. You know what I'm saying? If you need to practice all routes in the route tree, Dwayne Haskins is your guy. So that just showed that how much potential he had because it was other great receivers from the current NFL, past NFL that were looking to him to help them um, to help them get better. And then you, I mean, you saw Dwayne Haskins working with Odell Beckham. You saw him working with Cam Newton, Deshaun Watson. A lot of guys, he was picking their brains. He was also showing them things that they can do to be better. So, I mean, Dwayne Haskins was just part of a great community this offseason. It just, his trajectory just looked like he was going to win this starting spot. And I'm expecting him to be a, have a big impact this year. Again, to me, this is his rookie season. I don't care what y'all say. School is a pain. Let me see. That film is Dwayne Haskins the same as what we have now. Now, I can't wait to be able to show y'all the current, what he looks like. I mean, this is last season, so... Uh, I mean, yeah, like you said, this Giants film is a little bit of a better representation of what he is, but even this doesn't touch what he looks like now. He's faster. He's more consistent. Right there, he probably would have had the speed to break out of that play. Or he would have, you know found a way to move around the pocket and found a receiver down the field first and the offense around him is just way better suited for his skill set there's more playmakers on the field the offensive line is probably better overall we'll see you know what i'm saying that's a lot of reasons why i'm expecting Dwayne haskins to be far more successful than even what he was in this giants game which is where we kind of got a taste i mean scott turner also has shown that he's willing to run hurry up offense out of the shotgun which is also Dwayne has something Dwayne haskins loved and, and um played very well in at ohio state ohio state had him running a bunch of hurry up offense out of the shotgun and scott turner is willing to do that with a lot of speedy guys like i broke down my starting uh my starters projection for week one against the Eagles, there's a formation where we may run where J.D. McKissick and Antonio Gibson are in the backfield with Dwayne Haskins and shotgun, two running backs back there that can also double as receivers. And that's, I mean, that this hurry up offense that he's running with the Giants offense against the Giants in this, uh, the last game he played last season before he got hurt, the offensive line let him down. Um, I'm expecting that to even to look even better and be even more deadly with the uh, the, the starting projecting the starter projection that I gave y'all with the illustrations and everything. The video I came out with a couple of days ago. Antonio Gibson and JD McKissick in the backfield. Dwayne Haskins and shotgun is gonna be deadly, especially two minute, two minute, uh, two minute hurry up offense. He's been working hard, yes sir. Chris Sweezy with the video with the info, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Chris Sweezy. My boy John Shaw was good. Pay in was good. Everybody was good. Everybody. Coach Don Mega. Rico, what it do, boy? Appreciate you always being on your job. Man, I'm trying, man. What's happening, y'all? December, yes, sir. 
Your boy, your Atlanta boy, Lil Key, making y'all look bad. Wait, what Lil Key do? What's up, Streets? What's good, Dark Man? What's good? What's good, Aaron Sky? AP should be the starter. Yeah, I broke that down, the AP situation. I broke it down in my starter projection. Again, the video I came out with a couple of days ago. Um, I don't expect him to be the starter throughout this entire season, but definitely week one against the Eagles. He's the most he's the guy that's most ready. Whenever they run with the ones in practice, Agent Peterson is the running back. But eventually, when Antonio Gibson becomes a better, a better pass protector, a better pass protector, when Bryce Love becomes a more consistent running back and can stay healthy, I'm expecting him to dethrone AP. Um, thanks for what you do, homie. Hail to the Red Wolves, man. Appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. Hail to the Red Wolves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, fam. This is Terrell. Oh yeah, I already know, Mr. A. Was good. It's good, Rico Brody. Was good, Anderson. I mean, Andre Walker Jefferson was good. Was good. Hail to the Red Wolves. Yes, sir. What's good, one Aaron Sky? Yes, sir. He is the starter. What's good, Mr. What's good, Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones, Jay Z music, let him know. Like it up, like up the stream. Yo, what's good about, about dang time? I'm about to get hyped. What's good? What's good, Casper Hill? He should have ran that one. I'm not watching all of this stuff because that's on this screen. I'm more so focused on y'all comments right now, so I'm not exactly sure what y'all talking about. How you feel about us getting for Fournette? I'm good on Fournette. I don't feel like he's a great fit. I feel like he's literally just Adrian Peterson, younger but not as good. And we already have Antonio Gibson, Bryce Love, and J.D. McKissick, who are very versatile, deadly guys that are perfect for Scott Turner's offense. So um, I don't feel like Leonard Fournette would be worth it, especially if he's asking for a lot of money. And I, he seems like the type of guy that will want a lot of carries. He's used to being the guy to premier back. And you already see how we already have that problem with Adrian Peterson. You saw how he was with, uh, what was it, in New Orleans where he was uh, highly upset clearly upset that he wasn't getting as many carries as he wanted so adding a, Le a Leonard Fournette to that would make both Adrian Peterson and Leonard Fournette unhappy and Adrian Peterson's already fighting for his role as it is next week first game I see you I see you week 5.9 one away from 6k yeah we up there Joseph we getting there my boy Samuel was good Bryce Love is at a lot of recovery time he should be good I'm expecting him to do well too my predictions for week 1 39 27 that's a high scoring game What's good, Bino? What's good, Tyler C? Wouldn't be mad if we don't. Wouldn't be mad if we don't go. Yeah, I don't. I'm good on Fournette. I'm personally good. We may have some difficult cuts. Plus, you've already seen how this LSU thing has been working out for us, man. Sadiq Charles hurt the Darius guy situation. It was somebody else too. Gibson lead all running backs with receptions. Oh yeah, without a doubt. What's your week one projection? I'm expecting us to beat the Eagles. Honestly, I'm I'm sticking. I said 24 to 17, and I'm sticking with it. Their offensive line is in shambles. Carson Wentz is day-to-day. Jalen Rager is out for a minute, like a few weeks. It's dark for them. What's good, Rigo? What's good, the Martin family? What's good, everybody? Oh, Gospel Gogo. -Go. I just noticed that was your name. What's up to you, too? We missing out if they don't get... Oh, yeah, I'm getting Antonio Gandy Go. I mean, Antonio Gibson in uh, Fantasy. Like Rico said, the money must be right, but I like him for running back. I, yeah, I'm a little good on him. I feel like a running back core is too deep anyway. Again, Adrian Peterson is only starting... Because he's the more ready guy. But, like, as far as Scott Turner's offense goes, he doesn't even fit the offense the best. I mean, even, even goal line situations, Antonio Gibson's literally built like a linebacker. And he has better contact balance. And he's less likely to fumble. Um, and then, of course, he's versatile. So if we get in the goal line formation, we can throw it to Antonio Gibson. He can run it on the outside better than Adrian Peterson could. So even goal line formation-wise, even just running people over, Antonio Gibson's better than Adrian Peterson right now at this current day. So um, I just don't see where Adrian Peterson really has an edge on the other guys other than he's just the most ready. He can pass protect right now. He's healthier than Bryce Love. He's a better pass protector than... Uh, than Antonio Gibson, and he's a far better runner than J.D. McKissick right now as far as in the between the tackles go. But as soon as those other guys improve in those areas, I just don't see where Adrian Peterson will even have much of a role in his offense, to be honest. So bringing in a guy like Leonard Fournette to even add to that is just, I can't, I just don't even see where he, we will have room for that. I got us winning 27 to 17. I like that. Yeah, I don't think we need Leonard Fournette either. Redskins Weekly was good, was good. 31-10 Washington. Dang. That's an offensive. That's a lot. That's an offensive explosion right there. I have my first fantasy draft of the year tomorrow. Wish me luck. Hey, yeah, man, I do, man. I haven't even had one yet. I haven't even had a practice one yet, so I'm scared. You think the pickup yesterday at tackle was more because Charles's injury? Probably so. And I feel like they're not entirely too confident in Jerron Christian. I mean, I super break it down in the video I came out with last night slash this morning. 
I super broke down David Sharp, his weaknesses and strengths. Y'all can go check out that video. But yeah, I definitely, to, to put it, you know, to say it simply, very general, uh, I definitely feel like it's more so because Sadiq Charles is injured and Cornelius Lucas doesn't look as good as they expected. Um, but he's not coming in to potentially start. He's literally being brought in to compete with Jerron Christian for that backup position while Sadiq Charles is hurt. Antonio Gibson is our secret weapon. Antonio Gibson is eventually going to be like the guy. Like the guy. The one with the most carries probably and with the most receptions, just the most touches, period. The be Probably our safest fantasy option. Even more safe than Terry McLaurin. Pick up yesterday was probably because Lucas ain't it. Basically, team needs to tackle. How many sacks for the D-line in our first game? I'm going with four. I'm not even going to lie. And that's humble. That's humble. That offensive line is looking tough. They say they're in shambles. There's injuries everywhere on the Eagles O-line. The guys that are stepping up to replace those guys have looked terrible. Um, I mean, like, really bad. And then Jason Peters said, you're not moving me to tackle unless you pay me more, which is smart. They're paying him cheap guard money. I mean, he is 38, but they're paying him cheap guard money. And he said, hey, I won't play if y'all try to move me to left tackle. Y'all going to have to pay me more and, and pay me bigger money to make me play a bigger position. So right now they're struggling. Uh, let me see. But yeah, man, I don't want to be here too long, even though, I mean, we do have a lot of people in here, so I do want to keep it going. But you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to talk about the whole Dwayne Haskins starting situation. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we can definitely keep this going for a little while longer. Pick up yesterday was probably because Luke, yeah, for fine. Saints only wanted a second for Kamara. We should have, nah, I'm good on Kamara also. For like Antonio Gibson is going to probably, I mean, it's hard to bet on potential, but if you're looking at what Kamara looked like coming out of college and Antonio Gibson coming out of college, Antonio Gibson is literally just a, a better route running, faster version of Kamara. Literally, he's, a, he's as good at everything Kamara's good at, if not better. But, I mean, again, we've seen what Kamara can do at the NFL level, and it's hard to bet on what Gibson can do at the NFL level because ne not necessarily everything translates. But as far as potential and, and traits and physical tools, Antonio Gibson looks like he's going to be better than Kamara. And then to have to pay Kamara all of that money and give up a second-round pick, I don't think it's worth it. I think we're great at running back. I think running back is one of our definitely one of the least of our worries as far as our uh, team goes. Symbol have 3,500 yards, 21 touchdowns, eight interceptions. That's humble. 2017 us eagles dbs will will park suffered a hamstring injury for source dang man poor the eagles man they're already going through it they're already the most hurt team in the league i was doing a lot of mock drafts a while ago i haven't even started thinking it'd be 28 to 10 honestly i believe in this offense yeah this offense looks like it will be farther ahead than i thought like Jerron christian stepping up at left tackle Dwayne haskins looking as great as he looks steven sims and imp um improving day by day west martin looking pretty good at left guard um, and Scott Turner's offense, after I finally, you know, dove in and watched all of the film from his last four games with the Panthers and how looking at how our roster is even better suited and more talented than what he had with Carolina last year, other than Christian McCaffrey, of course. But Antonio Gibson is, again, just like Alvin Kamar, if you're looking at his traits, looks like he has more potential than Christian McCaffrey. So, I mean, I feel like what Scott Turner can do with this roster can be even more electric than what he did um with the Carolina roster those last four games. Plus, he has an entire offseason to implement his offense and for everybody to practice it. I mean, it's a shortened offseason, but still, I mean, he randomly got thrown into being the offensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers those last four games out of nowhere. And so now he's actually at a training camp to um, implement and uh, adjust his offense around the skill set of the players he has. Man, I got class in 10 minutes. Oh, no, Mr. Jones had a short day today. It makes sense to add our old line depth. We had so many injuries out, bro. Tell me about it, Mr. Scores. We will split with Dallas, lose game, home game, but beat them Thanksgiving Day. Hey, man, I, hey, I prefer to beat them Thanksgiving and lose at home than to win at home and lose Thanksgiving. I'm not going to lie. All lights are on us on that Thanksgiving game, and I'll take it. What's good, Darkman? What's good, Charisma? I think Isaiah Wright is a sleeper. I agree. I'm telling you, man, we have a high pick. We should snag Jamar Chase. Oh, yeah, I'm right with you. What's good, Killer John? Good Aaron Miles, young sack, two, two sacks versus the Eagles. I can see that. I can see that. My score prediction, 2013. I like that. I like that. That's around where I'm at. Again, I'm 24-17. My last class ends at 255. But I, Because I feel like our defense is going to be straight lockup. But I feel like our offense will have some bumps and bruises. They'll make their mistakes. And uh, the Eagles may get like a touchdown or two just off a great field position opportunity because our offense couldn't 
you know, get a first down and, you know, we end up punting the ball from our own 20 yard line or something and they have they start the drive with good field position. Other than that, I see our defense locking them down and our offense taking some time to catch up. But I feel like we're gonna have some explosive plays. Some 80 yard throws, some 50 yard runs, you know what I'm saying? Imagine if AG played at LSU or Ohio. <laughs> uh yeah, he would he would get all the notoriety if he played at a bigger school. He played at Memphis and he was behind Tony Pollard, you know what I'm saying? Two years ago, so yeah, he's just not known much. Plus, he played more receiver than running back in college, even after Tony Pollard left. So that's why you know he's not really known. What's good, Diddy Doily? Redskins Weekly can't wait for the roster to come out. Yes, sir. Haskins QB, mom. Yes, sir. QB one English skins. When's last time you had a one out of ten video? What's a one out of ten? You're a bit. You're the best, man. Appreciate that, Mark. Appreciate that, Mark. What's good, Mark? I just hope these receivers can catch the ball. Minus Terry, everyone else, I'm worried about honestly. Yeah, I mean, as much as I love Steven Sims, he does have a little bit of a hands problem. We'll see, though. Apparently, he's improved on that mightily this offseason, but I've also heard he's had a couple of drops. We'll see. Dontrell Inman looks like automatic hands. He's not very explosive, but he looks like he's a good route runner. You can depend on him to separate at least a little bit, and you can expect him to come down with any pass that Haskins throws to him. So that's a nice, dependable option in the red zone and on third and shorts and stuff like that. So I like the Dontrell Inman ad. I think that's a really slept on ad for us. I feel like he's going to have a big impact. He may not have a lot of receptions, but he probably will have a good amount of touchdowns for us and especially until Antonio Gandy Golden is ready to step up big and take over that spot from him Ruben has been a huge disappointment um I mean again I, with Ruben Foster I heard that he finally came out of his leg brace like three days ago so we have to see where he's at I don't know I don't know though we should beat the Eagles I'm still not sure if he's gonna make the roster even if he does how much of an impact we'll have we'll see though we got to see. I mean, Saturday, 4 p.m. is when the, fin the final 53-man rosters have to be submitted. So, of course, I'm going to live stream or at least come out with a video then to report on everything that happened, give my opinions on it and everything. Hopefully, Ruben Foster makes the cut. We'll talk about it, though, then. when Saturday Again, Saturday at 4 p.m., roster cuts down from 80 to 53. And remember, we had 80 this offseason instead of 90 because of the COVID-19 and the different rules and regulations. But they decreased the overall, you know, 90-man roster to eight to 80 during the offseason. But the it's still 53-man roster, not 55. And practice squads have increased to 16 players. And I believe you can protect four of them from other teams, from other teams snagging them. I wouldn't be surprised if we get Makai Parsons with a high pick because Bostick and Thomas aren't long-term. That's a good point. There's a lot of great talent in this draft if we have a good enough pick to get them. I hope the team Pecker slaps the Eagles. <laughs> yeah, your breakdown of the offense is what made me realize just how great this offense will be. Uh, man, appreciate that, man. Yo, I'm excited. Knowing what I know about this offense, man, and with, with Haskins looking like how he looks, what I'm hearing from training camp and the random clips I get, I'm expecting this offense to be crazy. And they're saying Antonio Gibson, once he's able to improve his uh, pass protection, because he's raw. He didn't pass protect much because he was the one that was usually a receiver out wide in college. So now that he's, you know, being more of a running back and learning how to pass protect, once he's able to do that, he's that dude. Like, he's our Christian McCaffrey, Alvin Kamara type of guy. And Adrian Peterson, Bryce Love, everybody else is going to have to move out the way because he's going to need his touches. So I'm expecting this offense to be crazy. And they said J.D. McKissick and Antonio Gibson on the field at the same time has been unstoppable in training camp. But again, I super break that down in my starting projection video where I give y'all illustrations of everything. Like I have everybody's little headshots from their shoulders up and where they are on the field and everything. I do the 4-3 the base defense. I do nickel defense. I do 12 personnel, one running back, two tight ends. I do just regular single back with uh, three receivers, one tight end, one running back. And I also show what it could look like when we have J.D. McKissick and Antonio Gibson on the field at the same time and shotgun with Dwayne Haskins. I'm telling you, bro, this offense is going to be crazy. Foster's coming off a big injury, so it's going to take some time. Man, I really hope he makes the team, though. I think Foster will play his first game against the Ravens. That would be I'll, I'll be ecstatic to hear about that. I got us winning nine games and taking that last playoff spot. I can definitely see that. What's good, Enrique? I'd rather sweep. <laughs> he said, I'd rather sweep. Yeah, I feel that, too. But I'm saying if I had to pick one game to win against Dallas, if we have to split, if I can look into the future and know we have to split, but I get a choice to... To win at home and lose away or win Thanksgiving and lose at home. I'm taking that win Thanksgiving, lose at home any day. I'm sorry. Got to win that Thanksgiving game, man. Bryce Love, too. He'll be our best running back. But, hey, Bryce Love healthy. They said he looks like 
every down running back. I mean, Bryce Love healthy and Sonny Gibson being able to pass protect, literally there's just no room for anybody else. They're saying that's our two-headed monster right there. Chase 2, Sweat 1, Kerrigan 1, Payne 1, Matt 1. Dang, okay, okay. Are you streaming the games on Sundays? Of course, I'm live streaming every game. Sunday 1 p.m. or if we have a Thursday night or a Monday night or whatever, I'm live streaming. And um, most most get, um, most of the time after games, if not every time after a game, um, after I'm done live streaming during the game, I'm going to take an hour break and then I'm going to come back and have like a game review. And I'm going to set it up to where y'all can call in and everything too. That's what I did last year sometimes, but I'm going to try to do it more this time. So after the game ends, take an hour break. So say we play from 1 to 4 p.m. Expect at 5 p.m. we're going to have like a game review live stream where y'all can call in and voice y'all opinions. Y'all can vent y'all frustrations about a player. You can praise a player or whatever saying. And I'm going to try it. Depending on how many people we have, I might have to set up time limits for everybody that calls in so that we can make sure everybody that wants to call in can call in. But yeah, we're going to set it up like that. Then the Eagles are having so many injuries. Yeah, bro. The Eagles, man. I feel so sorry for them. I'm not going to lie, man. Division rival or not, I really feel sorry for them. Young Regal, what's good, James Evans? What's good, Aaron Miles? Man, but hey, man, hold up. Because the reason we here is Dwayne Haskins won the starting job, man. Big ups to my boy Dwayne Haskins. Got to give it to him, man. He went stupid. He went stupid in training camp like I expected. And I'm expecting him to go stupid in this regular season. I'm excited for him, man. I'm really excited for my boy Dwayne Haskins. Our boy Dwayne Haskins. Running back love is a sleeper. Yes, sir. Of course. My class is algebra and I took it first semester last year, but I failed it. 69.48. Oh, man. They could have gave you those last uh, 52 points, man. And they could have gave you the last 52 points. Your teacher didn't like you, man. <laughs> they could have rounded up on one random homework assignment. You probably would have made it. They hate it. Match Jamar, Chase Terry, McLaurin, Steven Sims, Kelvin Harmon. Yeah, we can't forget about Kelvin Harmon. Kelvin Harmon was supposed to take that next step this season. I'm, I'm still sad about Kelvin Harmon being out for the season, but hey, man, he'll just bounce back even stronger in 2021. Once we, we have another draft, we can draft Jamar Chase, Michael Parsons, maybe even Panasa Well, the offensive tackle if we need to, and the offseason where we'll have top two, top three cap space so we can go up to Jalen Ramsey and be like, hey, man, we could pay you more than the Rams could pay you, and our future's brighter. Our quarterback's better. Our running back situation's better. Our defense is better. Our front seven is way better, and I know as a corner, you love that and again we can pay you more money than them guys so come play with us you know or you know we can go snatch up some good tight end talent some good receiver talent Kenny Galladay I believe may be a free agent if we need him Kenny Galladay is a really slept on receiver for the Detroit Lions he does not get as much attention as he deserves um I mean again our cap space in this next draft we may be Super Bowl contenders 2021 and beyond Especially in the Alex Smith will be off the books. Alex need to take a pay cut because, man, he hurt. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just going to end up releasing them. The way his contract is set up, releasing them right now would just result in too much dead cap. But 2021 and beyond releasing them, you can release them, not much dead cap, smooth transition. And then just hire him back as like some type of QB consultant or something. Because Ken Zampese is our QB's coach and he's a master at that. So to have Alex Smith in the room in some capacity in any way, shape, or form, I'm happy about that. But he's definitely not about to be the QB's coach over Ken Zampese. Y'all can't forget that the one year we've seen Baker Mayfield be great, it was when Ken Zampese was his QB coach because he preached the little things like footwork, mechanics, consistency, and stuff like that. And ever since Ken Zampese left after Baker Mayfield's rookie season, we've seen how Baker Mayfield looks. And the fact that we have that guy giving his undivided attention to Dwayne Haskins all offseason and all throughout the regular season and even beyond as far as, you know, as long as we have him hired, just gets me even more hype about Dwayne Haskins. I agree. Thanksgiving game, we gotta get it. Hey man, that's when everybody's watching, bro. I mean, I live, I'm, you know, I live in Atlanta, from Atlanta, and all of that. So my fans are just a mix of every team: Colts, 49ers, uh, Rams. Uh, let me see, Bears, of course, Falcons, Cowboys, of course, Giants. Uh, I know I miss Steelers. Who am I missing? I'm trying to think of like my close friend circle. I feel like I'm missing a couple teams, but like when we lose, when we play Dallas on Thanksgiving and we lose, I got to hear it from all of them. Steelers fans, Colts fans, Bears fans, everything. I mean, that Thanksgiving game means so much to me. As somebody that's just in a neutral territory like Atlanta where everybody, you know, it's a commuter city. So uh, a lot of people live here. They're not from here. So we have fans from everywhere. 
I mean, me, you know what I'm saying? I was born in Maryland. That's why, you know, I'm a fan like y'all for the Burgundy and Gold. So this is just a neutral territory. I got to hear from all kinds of fans when we lose to Dallas on a national stage. So I'm going to need, I need that game. I'm sorry. I, I need that game big time. I do not feel like hearing it from my 49ers, Bears, Colts, all of them, man. Uh, this may be an unpopular opinion, but I'm least scared about Eagles compared to both the Cowboys. You mean and Giants? Yeah, the Eagles are looking real hurt right now, man. I'm so sorry. I just got my Pedro Smith and Juan Gotti notifications. Oh, man, shouts out to my boys Juan Gotti and Pedro Smith. Yes, sir. I had a rumor that football player Leo Messi is set to sign for a one-year team. Yeah, I heard he wanted out of the club that he currently plays for. That boy Lionel Messi is upset right now, boy. He is a disgruntled employee. We should win both. Oh, yeah, I'm, I mean, of course we should win both, you know what I'm saying? But if, like, if it's a crystal ball and I have to pick one, I'm picking Thanksgiving. I got to. I'll lose at home and take Thanksgiving any day. A cowboy scary Thursday night first game. Who gets the last two wide receiver spots? I'm calling Cam Sims and sadly Quinn. <laughs> sadly. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm hearing great things about Isaiah Wright. So it sounds like he's good. I'm hearing great things about Cam Sims. I've heard a couple of good things about Trey Quinn. I don't know. So let's see. Terry McLaurin, Steven Sims, Dontra Edmond, Antonio Gandy Golden. I think Isaiah Wright's quite pretty safe. Maybe him and Cam Sims, I don't know, as six as the six. But again, I've heard some things about Trey Quinn that have sounded pretty decent. So I don't know. It's tough. We're going to have to see, man. Saturday by 4 p.m., we'll know. We'll know by Saturday, 4 p.m. If we don't beat Philly, we want all them injured. I'm going to be hurt. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm telling you. That team is down bad right now. We don't win week one. I don't know when we're going to win. Yo, Rick, what's good? What's good, Brinkley Diamonds? While Dwayne won starting job, Coach Ron Tight wouldn't announce till 9-13 versus Eagles. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. I have class. All right, Jones. I still love Kelvin Harmon. Trust me, y'all. He's going to be a pro. Yeah, I love Kelvin I'm right with you, Rich. I'm not as high as you are, like, literally, like, up there. But I do love Kelvin Harmon. I'm right with you, though. I'm right below you. Darby is going to show out on his old team. Oh, yeah. Let him know, too. Remind him of that. Remind him of that. On oh, my boy Twin D with the donation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Yes, sir. Money in the chat. Money in the chat. Appreciate that. About the frame of Young Jersey. This being the only season will be the Washington football team. I thought Washington should be displayed. Thoughts? Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. Like, when they refer to us, they call us the, the football team instead of just putting, like, Washington. Like, instead of saying Washington versus Eagles, they say football team versus Eagles. That is weird. It's a, kind of annoying. You know, it's a little weird. But, uh, I mean, it's whatever. I personally don't really care about all of that. Like, right now, I think the logo in the middle of our field is just going to be an NFL logo. I know a lot of people are upset about that. Of course, me, I don't really care about a lot of stuff like that. I just don't. I just care about X's and O's and pure football. All the other stuff, like the name and all of that. I understand why y'all care so deeply about it, but I personally don't. I, I'm just here for the players and the coaches. Everything else is beyond me, man. I'm glad you streaming the games. Can't watch the Skins game here in Kansas. Well, I can't actually, like, literally throw the game on stream, on the screen, because, you know, YouTube will ban me, the stream will get cut off midway, we'll be in the middle of the second quarter, and the YouTube police gonna catch me. So I can't literally show the game, but, you know what I'm saying, if you can, pull the game up on, like, a TV or something, or, like, on, uh, on, like, a link somewhere, there's plenty of, like, ways to get games for free if you, like, really want to. I'm not gonna dive into that, because y'all not about to get me caught up, you know what I'm saying? But there's ways to watch it, so if you can pull that up on TV, TV, laptop, whatever, and they have me on your phone or an iPad or whatever, we can watch the game together, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I'm a, I'm not going to be just like broadcasting every play-by-play -play moment, but I'm going to be like reviewing the game as if it's a film session. Like, oh, shouts out to him for doing that. Great block by Adrian Peterson there, and just little things like that. A great swim move by Chase Young right there. Things the broadcasters don't normally like point out. They're more so talking about, oh, okay, nice throw by Dwayne Haskins, great catch. I'm going to be pointing out, oh, that's a great block by Wes Martin, things like that. So, uh, you know, just a little extra analysis right there. But, again, I can't show the games. Right now, the only reason I can show this and YouTube is okay with it is because the NFL technically doesn't have, like, copyright over this footage. Like, the normal broadcast view we watch would get me banned immediately. But this all-22 film session view, the NFL doesn't really care about this. They not going to come bring the YouTube police at my doorstep for this one and, and shut the stream down. So I wish I could show the games, 
I mean, I can't even like listen to the game. Like, I can't even play the audio of the broadcast. YouTube police will be at my doorstep for that too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where it's gonna be a flashbang getting thrown into my window over that. So y'all not about to get me caught up out here, man. You do it on Facebook. On Facebook. What's good, my opinion? On oh, my boy Terry with the donation, man. Much appreciate that. Much we gotta do the air horns. Gotta do the air horns, man. Much appreciate it. Keep up the great work, big fan. Mad respect. Hell to the. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as Red Wolves or Redskins, whichever one. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take it as Red Wolves, though. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the donation, man. Much appreciate it. What's good, Eric Sims? Senior first five games. Do you see three and two as our record? Also, with a wide receiver course be okay? Oh, uh, I can see it. I could definitely see it's going three and two. I mean, because that Ravens game is going to be tough, but I feel like that game is going to be way closer than what people think, and we may be able to surprise them. But when in doubt, you know what I'm saying? That may be an L if I had to predict. I see us beating the Eagles week one. Let me pull up the schedule, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. I'm going to pull up the schedule. I forgot about this Rich Kid song. Let me let me pull up the schedule real quick. We can watch. We can walk through this together, man. That everybody eat bread rich kids mixtape is a classic. Right, let me see. Is this a good looking schedule? I just want a good looking schedule, man. I'm not asking for much, man. Y'all ain't even gotta do nothing special. You just give me a good looking schedule. Huh? I don't know what just happened. Oh, I'm searching through Yahoo. That's what happened. Why am I searching through Yahoo? I set this to Google. Alright, here we go. I like this. This is it, right? This is 2020. Eagles, Cardinals, Browns, right? Yeah, hold on. All right, that kind of works right there. It's a lot going on on the screen, but that works. All right, so Eagles, I'm expecting us to win that. Cardinals may be tougher than we think. Remember, Kyler Murray's only getting better. They have D they have D Hop now. Still have Larry Fitzgerald. Still have um, what's his name? Speed Demon guy. Um, they can't catch very well. They came out of, uh, I forgot his name, but him as a receiver. And they're pretty good in the receiving core. Um, I think they have Kenyon Drake at running back, I believe. Um, and then they got, I mean, their defense has already had some great pieces. Now they have Isaiah Wright at linebacker. That's going to be a tough game. I feel like we can win it, but it's going to be a tough game. I feel like the Bryant, the Browns are still a little overrated. We may be able to win that game. Ravens going to be tough. We might lose that. Um... I think we're definitely better than the Rams. I don't know how we're going to deal with Aaron Donald, but overall, I'm not scared of Jared, um, Jared Goff. Their running backs aren't great. I can see us winning that. At Giants, I feel like we're a better team. I don't know, though. I mean, it, it, it gets really deep. I, I just got to see how great our team is. We don't know how great our team is. Like, a lot of these teams are predictable. We already know how good or bad they're going to be. Our team has to be one of the biggest mysteries in the NFL. And basically, how we look these first four games will help me be able to predict how we're going to look these last few games. How we look these last, these first four games um, will be a huge indication, uh, a huge indicator of how we how we should look the rest of the season. But right now, I need these first four games to even know how good we may look. Again, even beyond that, though, I expect us to beat the Eagles. And I, no matter how bad we look, I feel like we can play the Ravens close. Because if, anybody, if anybody's defense is set up to stop a mobile quarterback, it's ours. Our defense is full of straight speed. Freak athleticism or all of that. And I feel like uh I feel like Lamar Jackson will have one of his worst days he's ever had in the NFL against us. And we may not win that game, but it's definitely gonna be Lamar Jackson's one of we're definitely gonna be the team he hates to play the most in the NFL, at least top three. Just off of how our defense is built on speed and freakish athleticism. Gonna definitely give him a hard time. That game's gonna be closer than what people think, and we may be able to surprise him. We'll see though. Um should be our next owner. I was really wondering in the, the name Young in the back should be displayed on Washington in the front. Normally, I frame displaying the name. I don't know. You might want to do Washington just because it's special. The Washington football team. Redskins today streams every game on IG Live. You can watch it there. Oh, that's dope. Still can't believe we haven't even given Eric Berry a trial, man. I would love to, man, because Eric Berry from over here, too. He from, he from South Atlanta, too, man. I, I would love to bring him in. I mean, at least let them try. You know what I'm saying? Free phone football. What's good, Ron Cole? Juan Gotti, boy. My boy, make sure I subscribe to my boy, Juan Gotti. Talking sports, yes, sir. He already owes the Nationals. 
Uh, I only have one mate into NFL here, and he's Cardinals fan, so we better win that. <laughs> I feel that. Oh, yeah, Christian Kirk. Thank y'all. Christian Kirk is all I was talking about. Appreciate that. I mean, if Christian Kirk once works on his hands, he can be deadly. I'm not saying he would be like a Tyreek Tyre Hill type of guy, but, I mean, that's probably the closest comp you can give him if he just were to sit there and work with because he's just not a good catcher yet. He's a body catcher. He doesn't go up and catch it. You know what I'm saying? He tries to catch it with his body, and that leads to inconsistent hands. But the speed is there. The athleticism is there. The explosiveness is there. If he can improve on his hands, yeah, hey, man, Kyler Murray got himself a deadly receiving core, one of the best in the league. Cool channel. Please, who is the red wide receiver number two? Oh, right now it's Dontro Inman. Now, when I'm talking about wide receiver number two, I'm talking about outside because I feel like Steven Sims is going to have the second most receptions behind Terry McLaurin. But he's a slot receiver. But if we're talking about outside, Dontro Inman is that guy right now. He's the second outside receiver only to Terry McLaurin. They're saying Antonio Gandy Golden looks like, you know what I'm saying? He looks like he's going to be something. The potential is there. And maybe a year or two from now, he's going to be that guy right next to Terry McLaurin. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But right now, Dontre Illman is the more dependable route runner, route runner, the more dependable hands. Him and Dwayne Haskins have built up a, um, a great rapport in training camp. Them in the red zone is just an automatic touchdown. So, um, that's big time. That, I mean, our red zone efficiency has been straight mud these past couple of seasons. Straight trash. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that Dontro Emmon alone, him and Logan Thomas, are going to help improve that mightily. And with Dwayne Haskins, our quarterback. Is Earl Thomas still a free agent? Yeah, he is. Very talented, um, but locker room problem. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Ron? Co? What's good? Go Red Wolves. Of course, go Red Wolves. What's good, Cassius? What's good, Beano? What's good, Matrix? What's good, my boy Splitsery? I really believe that Chase Young will be able to chase down Carson Wentz. Oh, yeah, of course. They're not even that mobile. That is dark for them. Montez Sweat and Chase Young, oh, they're going to be sad. Those guys are fast enough to chase down Lamar Jackson. Imagine what they're going to do on a hurt Carson Wentz, who's the most probably the most athletic out of those guys, and then Dak Prescott and Daniel Jones. Oh, man, it's sad. And then Daniel Jones has a fumbling problem. Oh, they're about to eat, man. <laughs> Christian Kirk is Trey Quinn 2.0. Nah, he's he's too athletic to be Trey Quinn now. You're not about to disrespect Christian Kirk like that. <laughs> At least that eh, not gone. Yeah, Thaddeus Moss is on the injured reserve. He's about to basically just have a red shirted season. We'll see him next year when he's fully healthy. And I, again, I believe wholeheartedly he can be like another Chris Cooley, a tight end fullback hybrid like our H back. I mean, I'm really excited about Thaddeus Moss. Had the best hands coming out of the draft out of our tight end, out of this tight end group coming out of the draft. Um, and was one of the best blockers, easily top three. So remember, he didn't drop a pass last season for LSU. And if you're the starting tight end on, you know, one of the deadliest offenses in college football history, if not the deadliest, same thing with Sadiq Charles. If you're the starting left tackle for arguably the most deadly, the most potent offense in college history, you got to be doing something right. So I like the fact that we picked up Sadiq Charles and Thaddeus Moss, even though they're both hurt and we haven't been able to see what they can do yet. Redskins Giants were great in the 80s rivalry. Oh yeah, that rivalry was crazy. Well, AP can work with Gibson. Man, Harmon looked like he was on the way to great season with chemistry. Yeah, man, astonishing, man. It was crazy. Right, I'm sad about Kevin Harmon. We're going to surprise a lot of people this season, 9-7 at worst. What's good, Varus? Hey, man. I, hey, like I said, my my record prediction is eight and eight, but I wouldn't be surprised if we end up going eleven and five. You know what I'm saying? The day hey, the team is extremely talented, and the coaching staff is far improved from the past few years. Probably the best coaching staff we've had since Gibbs at his greatest. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely better than Mike Shanahan and them. It's way better than Jay Gruden and them. So, and then the talent has only gotten better. Dwayne Haskins may be one of the most talented quarterbacks we've ever had in a in a burgundy and gold jersey. Uh, and, and we were winning Super Bowls with inconsistency at the quarterback position. Remember, we won three Super Bowls within 10 years with three different quarterbacks. I'm hoping Dwayne Haskins can finally be that big-time franchise guy that we can hold on to for 10-plus years like Tom Brady or Peyton Manning or Brett Favre. Those guys, you know what I'm saying? Russell Wilson's about to, how Russell Wilson's about to be, how Patrick Mahomes is about to be. Somebody that sticks with one team for the majority, if not his whole career. Um, you know what I'm saying? We, I mean, we're used to dealing with adversity. The fact that we won three Super Bowls and within 10 years of three different quarterbacks, no other team in NFL history has ever done that. 
And so we're used to dealing with just all types of adversity and weird stuff going on, inconsistencies. So if we can have a consistent thing at the quarterback position in Dwayne Haskins with as great as I think he's going to be, I can't see why we wouldn't be winning Super Bowls in the, uh, in the future. Uh, did you see Mila's message? I was in a, did you? Oh, oh, yeah, and of course, RP Coach Thompson, man. Shouts out to Coach John Thompson, man. RP to him, man. Not only would the DMV not be the same without his presence, but just basketball in general, man. You've seen that he, uh, he's being, um, he's being, they have like a huge electric billboard of him in Times Square. I mean, that's how big of an impact he is. Even New York is praising him and everything. So, man, our, definitely RIP to John Thompson. That was a, that was a great dude. I love, I, the thing I like the most about him is how intimidating he was. I mean, reporters were scared to ask him questions certain ways. That is fun. That was the funny part. Oh, here go Real Giants Mafia. <laughs> nah, Moss. Yeah, Moss is on injured reserve. Uh, yo, what's good, Cash? What's good? What's good? What's good, Liam Kirkpatrick? Any thoughts on Alex Smith? No, that's dead. It's straight. Don't. It's straight. Dwayne Haskins. That's why. That's why the stream is here. Ron Rivera's already announced that Dwayne Haskins is the dude moving forward. How many rushing yards QB1 Haskins getting this year? I'd say 300 to 400. I'll probably be somewhere in the 200 because I do feel like he's going to surprise some people. But you never know. He may, he may run the ball more than people think. He had one play in training camp like a week ago where uh, all the receivers were covered and the edge rushers lost contain on the left side and the DBs were so, you know, occupied with the receivers. Haskins in the red zone was like, hey, I might as well go ahead and take off and was able to run in for an easy touchdown. And last year, the way he was built, with his lack of mobility, his lack of speed, that may not have been a touchdown last year. But now, with him, you know, completely transforming his body, his diet, taking his his um his life, workouts, the NFL game more seriously, his speed is far better improved. His acceleration, all of that. So, you know, what I'm saying he may be able to surprise some teams. Um, but yeah, man, I'm about to go ahead and dip up out of here. Just wanted to do a quick stream. I kind of wanted the stream only to be like uh really like 10 15 minutes it's almost an hour we're about to go into 50 minutes but um really just wanted to talk about Dwayne Haskins starting everything uh and that that was the big announcement but of course you know uh, everybody in the chat I like to talk to everybody so we start talking about everything um but I'm about to go ahead and dip up out of here y'all already know man every Thursday I have my um radio show over the phone phone number in the description you can call in you voice your opinion so if y'all ever want to just call up to the show and ask whatever questions you want to ask be a part of the show i mean you'll be contributing just like i am um phone number is in the description every thursday 7 8 p.m y'all already know every friday 8 to 10 p.m the podcast with my friends and my family my cousins we talk about everything right now since basketball is going on we talk a lot of basketball we've been talking about stocks anime gaming anything going on in new in the news all of that life all of that so um i love to talk about my plants and stuff um that's every friday 8 to 10 p.m and y'all already know every sunday 2 to 4 p.m um just the live street scores full access where i reply to every comment i'm not gonna necessarily be able to get to every comment right now because i'm busy i gotta get back to what i was doing but with this breaking news i had to hurry up and live stream it um I'll talk to trash with y'all be <laughs> oh yeah y'all not playing with a uh, real new york giants mafia <laughs> i will breathe the sigh of relief when we beat the eagles in the open <laughs> all right man all right y'all i'll catch y'all later man i really appreciate y'all pulling up please like the stream before you leave out of here it means a lot to me please like the stream before you leave please like the stream before you leave um i would really appreciate it really really appreciate it and again i'll catch y'all um thursday at the latest on my phone my over the phone radio show um again every friday also 8 to 10 p.m and every sunday 2 to 4 p.m and i will be live streaming during the games um like the eagles game at one on sunday to start off the season live streaming through all of those and i will have some game reviews most weeks if not all weeks where after the game if we play from one to four take an hour break come back at five have a post game live stream where y'all can call in and give y'all opinions and everything um make sure i'm not missing anything important important all right y'all catch y'all later appreciate y'all pulling up again please like the stream before you leave it means a lot to me man please like the stream i see the like going see the likes going up i really appreciate y'all really appreciate y'all y'all been going crazy to stream y'all donated y'all been liking the stream i really appreciate it and again i will catch y'all later i'm out shouts out to my boy Dwayne.